Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. <clears throat> so today's episode is going to be about the possibility for a very large, not very large, but a very localized snowstorm, but with some heavy, very amounts, heavy amounts that will be impacting quite a bit of people and this system becoming more and more likely and that it's just, I can't bear it. Um, it's going to be impacting where I live exactly head on about nine inches of snow. Absolutely ridiculous. So let's just jump in right into this. But before we do, before we do, consider subscribing to this channel. Consider subscribing to my new gardening channel. The link in the description box below. Consider becoming a Patreon. You could do that in the description box below as well. And consider uh, just liking this video in general. So uh, let's just jump right into this. The GFS is looking at a, it's an Alberta clipper basically, almost an exact Alberta clipper. And if, you, <clears throat> and if this was actually a, uh, during a winter, you know, during winter when there was more cold, this would be a mega, mega Alberta clipper. I mean, not all of this will be a snow right away. Some of this will be rain, but the last hours of the snow will still be enough to produce over nine inches. Look at this. Uh, the center is located right over northern Illinois, and it absolutely slam dunks us with snow. Let's go to total snowfall. Look at that. Um, eight, six, two in the southern suburbs. Anywhere, if you live in the Chicago area, you will be seeing snow tomorrow. And it's just a question of how much. And, it, you know, the GFS right now is not showing much for uh, Minnesota, northern Iowa. I think there will be more snow here as well. And let's go to something like the FV3 GFS. So, this is another version of the GFS, just a little bit different. It's a family in a family of GFS. And you can see it's showing more snow in northern Iowa. So, don't, you know, don't get caught off guard just because the GFS is showing not much snow across Iowa and Minnesota and Wisconsin. There still will be quite a bit of snow there. But uh, it has been shifting a little bit further south as the as we get closer and closer to the actual forecast occurring. Let's go to the Canadian model. I just want to show you guys, all the models are agreeing that there will be a system. So it's not a question of whether there will be a system. It's a question of where the heaviest will fall. At this point, it looks northern Illinois, southern Wisconsin, northeastern Iowa, southwestern Minnesota, or southeastern Minnesota, and uh, that's about it. Maybe it's just southern Minnesota. It seems like if those are going to be the hot spots with this system. Let's go to a different model, the NAM 12KM. You can see it's showing a little bit further to the north. So let's go to regions, north central US. It's going through right Chicago area, the cutoff line. Um, you can see a little bit heavier to the north, a little bit lighter to the south, but generally in this area showing quite a bit of snow. And I'm telling you guys, the models have been shifting the snow further and further to the south because the NAM early Later on in the day, let me show you some of the models. It had a little bit further to the north. You could see not much in northern Illinois. The 12 o'clock one I had a, a little bit slighter to the north as well. You could see um, not too much here. And then the latest one is bringing the heaviest um, across the state line of Wisconsin and Illinois. Let's go to an even more mesoscale model called the HER model, the HRR model. Let's go to the 18Z. This is the one every six hours, 18Z, 12Z, 00Z, and 6Z. They all um, go for like basically up to 32 hours or 33 and they they just do that that's what the, how the her model works the model system otherwise it only goes out to 18 which would not be you know enough to encapsulate the storm but look at this it's already showing quite a bit of snow across southwestern minnesota northeastern iowa southern wisconsin don't worry guys you will get your fair share of snow unfortunately and but then look at this it just absolutely explodes across the northern illinois with heavy snow cook county lake county McHenry county all these uh counties being under the brunt Rockford, Illinois, DeKalb, DuPage, Elgin, all those st state cities will be seeing snow. Let's go to Iowa, Dubuque, Iowa, definitely seeing some snow. Uh, Des Moines, Iowa, not likely at this point. Min Minneapolis, not likely at this point. Madison, yes, a couple of inches. Milwaukee, yes, several inches, if not you know, many inches. Uh, Mankato, Mankato, Minnesota, seeing several inches of snow as well. Uh, Winona, Minnesota, maybe not too much. You're right on the border here. Green Bay, not much snow for you either. So uh, you should be happy with that unless you really wanted the snow. Quad cities here in Illinois, um, sh maybe a little bit. Depends on with whether or not this shifts to the south. And you may be wondering why am I focusing only on this location? Well, this storm is only literally going to occur in this location. It's very localized, very small. Um, if we go to the European model, you can see it tapers off once it goes to the northeast. So, if we go to the northeast, let's go to somewhere. Well, I don't know what that is. 
Pilla, Pilla, I think New York. I, I can't really read it from here, but uh, in the south, in the western New York area, you can see four or five inches. Let's go by Ithaca, um, two inches Geneva, one point with two inches Syracuse, uh, eight tenths. So not that much in the northeast. The most of it, the brunt of it, according to the Euro European model, which has been the most accurate so far. Um, it has been showing the system from the beginning, showing a lot of snow in this exact area or somewhere around this area and it's been showing quite a bit so it's showing quite a bit across North Dakota which isn't out of the question you can see um, 12 over up, up to a foot of snow while the GFS model I think is not showing yet it's not basically showing nothing at all so that's a huge discrepancy right there I mean could be looking at uh, somewhere between uh, you know I, I, that's not gonna really be with this storm but uh, it's I think there still could be some snow with this system involved with it uh, South Dakota, not too much, um, uh, I mean, still a fairly amount, but not too much of a wide area, only around central, northern uh, South Dakota, you can see 7 inches, then we go into uh, western, eastern South Dakota, 6, and then it just explodes, look at the 7, 8, 9, 9, it gets up to 10, almost a foot of snow across uh, the the tri-state area, I guess you could call it Dubuque, um, the border between Illinois, Wisconsin, and Iowa, and then we see going to Rockford, 10 inches, into Evanston, Palatine, Vernon Hills, 8, 9, 9, 9, Chicago, around 8. If this does occur, this would possibly be the biggest April snow of the season and the snowiest April for Chicago ever. So this is definitely something to keep an eye on, and this most likely will be my last video and look at these rain look at these rain equivalents with this system a lot of rain with this so the snow will be very heavy very wet and look it's not all over we afterwards uh the midwest will be getting absolutely pummeled by heavy rain especially in central illinois western uh, missouri all these uh states and cities will be seeing quite a bit of snow and um uh, quite a bit of rain sorry and that's not going to help onto the river flooding, and especially in the areas that are going to see the rain with this system. So, uh, not too good news, but you know, it's it's a, you know, what can you do? It's going to happen, and at this point, it seems very likely. So, let's go to the National Weather Service. There, I think that yes, there has been winter storm watches already issued um, for several areas. Oh wow, now they're including uh, Northern uh, Illinois in this. Okay, because last time when I was here, when I looked at this, it was uh, you know winter storm watches only in a. Wisconsin state line. Now they're issuing winter storm watches for the northern Illinois area. Let's see how much you're forecasting. Okay, one to two, one to three. Um, so cumulatively two to five inches. Uh, I think there will be a little bit more because earlier in the morning they were showing less than one inch. Now they have uh, upgraded this. I know. I'm sorry. I'm focusing on the Chicago area, but you could see uh four to eight inches in the winter storm watch. Let's go to uh, southern Wisconsin. Let's see what they are showing there, and let's see what's going on. Uh, this, you know, this isn't necessarily looking too good. Uh, quite a bit, <laughs> quite a damn bit of snow. Let's go to Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, you look at that, it's four to seven inches. Absolutely ridiculous. Thunder snow, very likely with this system. Let's go to total snowfall accumulations. Look at this, uh, four to nine, five to nine, and then extending into northern Illinois. I mean, absolutely ridiculous amounts. Snowfall rates up to two inches per hour. Strong northeast winds. Um, if you have, I don't know, if you have a garden right now, you might want to consider like, you know, button, buttoning that up and trying to uh, preserve it because this storm will be one heck of a storm. So, uh, I thank you guys so much for watching. I, I really am, you know, not bringing you too good of a news, but it's the best I could do, I guess. I mean, and, um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing, consider liking the video. And here are the amounts for South Dakota. You can see four to six inches. So, um, uh, you know, not too bad, but uh, definitely still impactful. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.